what are some symptoms of C. diff? Yeah, so symptoms of C. diff would commonly be a fever, really bad abdominal cramping, constant diarrhea that is non-remitting. When I say that, I mean, usually we see people that are going 10 to 15, 20 times a day. I mean, if you get it, this is like the worst diarrhea illness you've ever had in your life. Uh, usually we don't see blood commonly in the diarrhea. So if it's just like water is what we usually say, that's more likely to be C. diff. And then obviously nausea, vomiting, inability to even eat anything can be the symptoms of it. In those situations, hospitalization necessary? Yes. I would think because yes. of that dehydration. Yes. So I, again, I see kind of sicker people because I deal in the hospital, but most people with C. diff, especially if you're over the age of 50, you're going to be hospitalized because it's such a severe illness. The amount you can become dehydrated, it can affect your kidneys, it can affect other organs. Most people end up getting hospitalized just to make sure that they're getting hydrated, they have pain control, and they can get the right medications. And how do we treat that C. diff? With it's, what? Yeah, so interestingly enough, actually, we just changed the guidelines in February of this year. It used to be that we would use one intravenous or oral medication called Flagyl. Now the International Society of uh, Infectious Disease Guidelines and gastroenterologists have realized that vancomycin, taken orally and orally only, not through the IV as we use with other diseases, actually works better and we're more likely to prevent it. There's a bunch of other medications now on the market. Uh, they've even made a specific medication that affects the antibodies associated with C. diff that's an actual therapy, kind of like what they do with chemotherapy now. So they really, this has become such a problem that they've actually uh, done a lot of biochemical research and figured out what kind of things they need to target in order to keep people safe. And if someone is caring for a family member who has C. diff, should they worry about uh you know, being contagious? Yes. Really? Yes. Oof. This is uh, this is one thing that I think really needs to get out there. So if you are taking care of someone with C. diff, there is a reason if you've been in the hospital why you see why we wear these huge gowns, we're gowned up blue gowns, have gloves, and we don't even wait to leave the room until we've taken them off because we know it's so infectious. The other thing is normal things don't get rid of it. Hand gel, that Purell, does not kill C. diff. It wow. does not. You have to wash your hands. You have to use actual soap and water. This bug is so smart that it has outsmarted Purell. So at this point, if you need, if you were taking care of a family member, be careful, wash your hands. We usually bleach and sterilize the rooms that are especially marked if they've been in it.